What's going on, Smart One? Stand on Fire for God here. Back again with the second to last episode of The Walking Dead Season 1. Technically, it's the final episode. The Sworn of Days is a special episode, and I don't count it as an episode of Season 1. It's more of a just a thing that exists. Uh, you may tell my background's a little different. I'm in, this is my first ever, my first recordings in a, in a, an apartment. So, uh, yeah, uh, this is just going to be, uh, it's very risky right now. Since I'm running on my phone's mobile data internet. So, this might be seen, if you're watching it, that means the whole broadcast went without a hitch. So now... Snap, and I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous to actually do this episode because it it, it could just stop. So we finished episode four. Lee got bit. Clementine's missing. Now we go to the fifth one, which I'm hoping I'm hoping I can actually get this broadcast done. So. We're gonna go and give him a shot. Got my Coke here. This episode of The Walking Dead is brought to you by Coca Cola. Go drink Coca Cola, yeah. Cause I'm a sellout. No, I don't get sponsored by anything. Not famous enough. I'm not famous at all. Be enough. Like, no. I'm like in the granite stages. You know how like YouTube has that like level of stuff? I'm like at that first level. I haven't gotten up to the 500. I think it's 500 subs that you can go to the next level, but. Who will? Previously on The Walking Dead. Yes. This is very what risky. If my parents come home and I'm not there. I've got my walkie talkie in case they try that way. Yes, that's also very loud. There were some batteries in one of those boxes. Here, you can have some too. Yes. But we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. They always when they ourselves. Yes, that's it. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? We gotta go! <laughs> yeah, why? Clementine? Clementine! Hit him. Oh, no. Clementine's gone. Wherever she is, I have to find her. This is something I have to do alone. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? Yeah, that's right, Kenny. Clementine. Oh, I forgot. You know what? Ben died. I forgot. I, I Ben dies in my story. Thank God, I don't, I don't, I don't like Ben. I don't like. I just didn't like Ben. I didn't. So I like that a lot uh, than him trying to. It was not a. He he was the characters that was on borrowed time. Abraham in the in the show. He was on borrowed time. He really didn't have a. A purpose to be there, you know. It's like stuff like that. It's like, do me wrong. I love Abraham. Not shit talking Abraham. God bless that bat, that lovely mustache and that lovely man. But like, just like he was just one of those characters Bernie, that like. Get out here. He'd be better if he died. There doesn't have to be any right. trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back, and nobody needs to get hurt. Clementine, are, are you all right? Where are you, Vernon? You son of a bitch. Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. What do you want from me? Whatever it is, I'll do it. You can let her go. I want you to never hurt anybody again. This isn't a kidnapping, Lee. I don't care what it is. Just I just let it go. shut up now. <laughs> don't talk. All right, we're going off smoothly now. All right, God damn it. What does it doesn't matter? Fuck you. Whatever your name is, what Charlie or some shit like that? Charlie? No, never mind. Hmm. Just hold on, Clementine. I'm coming for you. Yeah. I love this setup too. Got my computer here. I can watch stuff. Don't worry. So when I do have my we'll internet, it'll be better. So 
I wish those two stay behind. How's that feeling? Not great. My hand is hot. And it's thumping a little bit. You seem okay for now. Yeah, totally. We don't have much time. <coughs> Fuck it, let's cut it off. Damn. We're about to have a lot less. We'll all make sure nothing gets in. You're still the smartest fucker out of all of us. Try to find another way out of here. Let's go. Cut that off. Oh, wait, no, yeah, yeah, no, no. You go in here, I believe it is what? What is it? Surgical supplies. It's here, right? No? Which one is it? I think the morons left some tools for us. There it is. There you go. Looks like a car jack. I don't want to imagine this being used on a body. Oh, you might have to. Surgical supplies. Okay. Go here now. Use the car jack. Here you go. I'll have these doors open in two seconds. There we go. No, oh, don't you do it. No, Lee, no. No, Lee, no, Lee, no. I'm gonna die. Yeah, that, that don't look good. <laughs> No time left. That's right. Fuck. Is he alive? Shit. This is bad. Fuck. Tell me more than this. Okay. This has to be done. Sorry, pal. I gotta do it. I'm awake. Stop. He's awake. He's still oh, bitch. Oh, so? This is about trying to save him. At the very least, buy him some time. Chopping his arm off. Do we know it works? We don't know anything. We know there's gonna be a lot of blood. There's gonna be a shitload of blood. What if he dies? Then the rest of us go after Clementine and get the hell out of Savannah. Let's just do it, come on. Let's do it. Maybe it'll work. It's a big risk. Let's get over yeah. with. We're down here without a lot of options. Fuck it. Fuck it. Cut it off. Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> I can't imagine going through that. My arm hurts right now just thinking about it. Oh, it's not good, not good, not good. By the way, guys, let me know down in the comments below. Uh... Don't cut too high, okay? Just get through the thinnest part you think is best. Okay, uh, just like, like, let me know if you comments if you, do you think, do you think this is a good angle for the face cam? I, I'd have to change my whole room to get a better angle, but I like oh, this shit. angle, I was looking at it. Fine. But let me know. I'll go as fast as I can. If I don't live through this, I need you to know you <laughs> Oh my god. Try to- <laughs> Ah! Fuck! Stop! I can't! Hold on! Oh! Ah! Oh, fuck. No. No. <laughs> I gotta put, like, this first part. Graphic warning. <laughs> That's some nasty shit. Oh, they all heard that. Holy hell. We thought maybe we'd lost you. You've been out a while, man. It hurts so bad. But maybe now I got more time. Do you think you'll be able to travel? You lost some blood. 
Oh shit. His fucking arm. Yeah. Good. The elevator's open. Let's go. You're welcome. I'll I'm bring up the rear. I don't want to bleed up anyone. Hmm. It's not bandaged up properly, though. That's the problem. It's not bandaged up properly. He would have been fine if they just cauterized it, maybe. We're gonna have to go as quiet as possible and see if we can make it to an empty floor or even the roof. You think it's possible for you? Yeah. Keep going. God, this was a fucking awesome episode. <gasps> Shit. Oh, man. That was fucking close. Everything there. Oh, just fucking peachy. <laughs> Thank you, Ahmed. What's that room like? Ah, good lord. This remind dude, this 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 is the kind of shit like you Makes me think of the very first episode of the first season of The Walking Dead. Such promise. If I had known seven years ago when that show came out that they'd fuck us over with a cliffhanger on season six, and then it, it taints the premiere, I would have, I would, I wouldn't have stuck really. I would have been like, I don't know if I want to do that. So I'm invested in the show now to where I can't stop watching it. I like flushed my life down the toilet because of it. So now it's like I can't really. Oh, that doesn't look like that many. Remember when Savannah was empty? Those Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. There that does that doesn't look like a lot. That's not thousands. They didn't follow us here, did they? It sure seems like it. That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. Is it? That fucking train wasn't exactly discreet. We need to get off this roof as fast as we can. It's not safe down there. We can't just walk through the streets. You planning on growing some wings? It's taking an immense amount of willpower to not make a crack about that suggestion, coming from the one-armed man. That joke will be funnier once we know if this worked. Look, let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Are you? Good? Good. I, uh, don't think we can ignore what just happened to Lee. He lost a lot of blood down there. If you Still find dripping. yourself getting winded, or worse, you gotta let us know. Screw that. I look like I need any preferential treatment. Don't answer. Well, you could have taken my damn leg down there. Wouldn't have slowed me down a bit. You hear me? Yeah, we do. Good. Now what? We get down and... We find a little girl out there. Right, pal? Now, let's get our bearings. Let's do this. Shout out to Kenny, man. If you play your cards right, Kenny can be like your boy. Love Kenny. I don't care what people say. Kenny's just... He's an example of a dude who just loses a lot. <laughs> uh, I believe I gotta go forget this ladder. Do I want to talk? I could stretch the episode out, but no. It's an extension ladder. <laughs> it's an extension ladder. That's the church across the street from the mansion. River Street should be just beyond that. We need to head back that way. We'll stop off at the mansion, like you said, and make sure we didn't overlook anything. Yeah. Just need to figure out a way to get there. Anything over here? Honestly, my vision isn't great. I think it's allergies or all that shit those walkers are kicking up. I was thinking you and Omid wouldn't come with me. We can't stop looking out for each other. 
You two have been solid since day one. What's this? Day three? Four? Well, I appreciate it. Allergies. Hmm. <laughs> People used to get those. I know, right? You never see anybody in an end of the world story with pay fever. Hmm. <laughs> it's not the time to get wistful. I know. It's this deal with Claire. It's everything. Just put this rage inside me like I can't even say. I used to get allergies too, and just. Fuck. Who was that guy? Someone with priorities? Okay, well, let's go. I, I like. Uh, you know what? You know what we're gonna do? We just put. You know that. that do what Rick did. Work. For whom the bell here? tolls. Bell tower. That's what's up. Huh. Yeah. That could help. Okay. No way. It's higher than this roof for starters. Ugh. <gasps> He looks so, it looks, it's weird. You could tell that the servos in his, like, animations, they, like, they're always gonna be like that. That arm's not gonna do shit. Yes, here we go. Whoa, you need some help with that? I got it. Damn it. Yeah, could buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You think you should be the one to go? My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? <laughs> so we're agreed then. Why the hell are we letting the one arm guy do all the high risk maneuvers? Because the one arm guy insists. Now shut up about it. That thing looks a little rickety. Maybe keep that shit to yourself next time. Yep. Oh, no. Oh. No. Bullshit. Ah! What the fuck? Holy shit, man! Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. I was wishing I had my other hand. No shit! Try to find another way out of there? It's locked. Shit. It's funny, like technically, the exit in here's chop... locked. <laughs> uh, it's funny, chopping the arm off doesn't. It doesn't. Does it? You know, he still dies in the end. But like, it did work. Chopping that arm off did work. It's just he lost blood, and that's why he dies in that version. It's not because of the. Uh, that that should blow his ears out. I'm sorry. That no. No help, hospital. They're coming this way. Tons of them. Jesus. Now get back here. Yeah. yeah. 